Thomas Winston is in the news again this week, and once more, it's for all the wrong reasons. <sighs> the well-known history professor and presenter of BBC Two's Finding Britain claimed to have discovered startling new evidence that all... Seriously, Tom, why do you listen to those idiots? <sighs> you should get that. Hello. Is this Professor Winston? My name's Maz Kafer. Are you press? Because I've got nothing to say. No, not press. I'm a director. Have you seen Crawling Darkness or maybe Blood and Madness Part 4? Sorry, I'm not familiar. It doesn't matter. I can have some copies sent over. Anyway, I'm calling because I need your help. Help? I'm going to be shooting my new movie over there in England next week, and I need someone with your expertise to act as a consultant. Okay. What kind of consultant exactly? Well... I'm shooting at Ashgate University while it's closed for the summer, and as you probably know, the whole area's got a long and crazy history, so I need an expert who can help me understand the place, really get under its skin. <sighs> I don't know. Now's not exactly a good time. All right, how about this? Come and meet me at the university the next Thursday morning. We'll have a look around, grab some lunch, and if you're still not sure, I'll pay you for your time and send you home. Okay, I'll come for a look around, but no promises. Fantastic. I'll meet you at my trailer next Thursday at 10 a.m. and we'll take it from there. Okay, I'll see you Thursday. Oh, does the film have a name yet? It's right up your street, Professor. We're calling it... I said I'd call Lex when I arrived. Ah, oh, no signal. Hello? Hey Lex, it's Tom. Ah, I can't seem to get a signal, so I had to use a payphone. Ah, uh, I didn't recognise the number. Thought it might be that guy from Stream and Pond Monthly again. <laughs> he's relentless. If you don't renew your subscription, he's going to break in while we're sleeping and beat you to death with a trout. Well, he's a commission-only salesman. You could be right. Have you met the director yet? No, I've got to go and find his trailer. Right. Uh, so what's the place like? Are there any famous actors around? Well, it's completely empty. There's no sign of anyone. No one at all? That seems a bit odd. Well, I'm going to look around, see if I can find someone. Well, let me know how things go, OK? Will do. Speak to you later. Hello, is anyone in there? Hello? Anyone around? Hello? Is this working? Hello? Mr. Kafer? Professor, great to hear your voice. You might have noticed there's no cell signal in the area. Some kind of mass vandalism of local towers, apparently, so radio is all we have for now. I see. Where are you, exactly? So there's been a bit of hold-up, I'm afraid, and I'm stuck off-site while we work through some of our location issues. Right. Any idea how long that's going to take? Just hold on. Hey! Tell him to move the sheep, will you? Uh, sorry, uh, this farmer doesn't speak any kind of English that I've ever heard. What were you saying? I was just wondering how long it's likely to take. Oh, not long. This farm's only a few minutes from the university, so why don't you look around, maybe talk to some of the crew, and I'll give you a buzz when I get there. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. I'm sure you'll spot them soon enough. The props manager, Omar, always wears this ridiculous purple hat. 
Guy looks like he killed a Muppet and stuck it on his head. You should be able to see him from a mile away. Okay. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Actually, while you're waiting, I'd really like you to take a look at something they found just at the edge of the campus. What is it? I'll let you decide, but if you go through the tunnel that leads back towards the front gates, there's an opening in the rock on your right, and if you keep walking for a minute or so, you'll see some scaffolding that leads up into a cave. Is it safe? Completely. Call me on the walkie when you get there. I'm interested to hear your expert opinion. Intriguing. I'll let you know when I find it. Great. Speak to you soon. Hello? Is it This doesn't look good. So, that's definitely not good. So, what was next? Ashgate Facilities, Jeff speaking. Hello, Jeff. My name's Tom Winston. I just arrived at the Ashgate campus and I'm trying to find the film crew, but the place seems deserted. Look, I've told the university management what I think, and I've got no more to add. What do you mean? Those areas were obviously sealed up for reason. Just because some wealthy film exec starts waving their checkbook around doesn't mean that it's time to start disturbing things that are best left alone. Uh. I'm sorry, 
What area is he talking about? They need to start showing this campus some goddamn respect. That's all I'm saying. OK, well, when I find Mr. Kafer, I'll be sure to let him know how you feel. You do that, son. And watch yourself, right? The Ashgate University Student Union is currently closed. Please direct any inquiries to the Student Liaison Office or email Tanya Morris at tmorris at ashgate.edu.uk. Also, due to lack of interest, the university has unfortunately been forced to withdraw from the annual Ilchester Cheese Festival. Tickets can still be purchased, however, from the Henry Wensleydale Cheese Emporium on Chatham Street. Have a great summer, and we look forward to seeing you in September. Nostrum Location Services, how can I help you? Hello, my name's Professor Tom Winston. I'm here at Ashgate University. <gasps> Tom Winston? The Finding Britain guy? Yes, that's me. Oh, I really love that show. That's great, thanks. That guy you work with, Dan something? The one with the teeth. Oh, he's amazing. Do you know if he's single? Uh, he's gay, Madge. He's been with his partner, Truman, for eight years. They have twin girls and an Irish wolfhound called Ben Nevis. Oh, OK, well, what can I help you with? Well, I'm interested in why Ashgate University was chosen as the location for Mr Kafer's new film. Ah, Old Gods Rising. That's a bit of a story as it happens. Really? Yes, quite unusual. But I'm afraid I'm contractually restricted from discussing anything about the project. You'll need to direct all of your questions to Mr Kafer's office. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help. Someone doesn't like traffic cones.
The scaffolding's completely safe, he said. Okay, I found the stones. Tell me what you see. Uh, well, it's not exactly Stonehenge. Clearly not Neolithic. More likely Bronze Age. Seems to be local stone, but less smooth than I would expect for something of this age. It's a six stone formation. No sign of any missing sections. Being hidden for so long has certainly kept it well preserved. Quite a bit of information there, Professor, so... Those things are old? Certainly looks like it. But it's strange to find a formation like that hidden away. You'd usually expect this kind of thing to be out in the open. Interesting. I've got something else I'd like you to look at. Out past the deliveries area on the far side of the parking lot. Oh, yes. A different kind of stone. It has stuff cut into it. Okay. I'll uh, try and find it. Follow the signs for the memorial gardens. It's in a field back there. Let me know when you see it. <laughs> 